very, very special guest today on Minutes with Mary, and it's my lovely, dear mentor, friend, example for life, how to be a great woman, how to write, and all of that stuff. Claire Whitaker. But you might also know that she was married to Rod Peterson, and they both were the writers, producers, everything on the Waltons. So, welcome to the Minutes with Mary. It's so great to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're my girl. <laughs> I know, and I just love you. And so Claire does not want to do this, just so you know. I'm forcing her. Is yes, it torture? True. Yes, it is torture. Absolute torture. But I wanted to ask her some questions because all of you ask all these questions about the show. And I found out last night in talking to her that um, we don't really know the answers. I don't. I have no answers whatsoever. Okay. So. Yes, and there are, there are questions that we're not allowed to ask. Um, cannot ask who your favorite Walton is. Yeah, we don't please, answer. Please, please don't. Yeah, it's like asking who my favorite child is. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, impossible. Impossible. But I do I have know. one question for you that I want to ask. And um, so I make up a story about it. And what I make up is that um, the person that might have been the easiest to write for was Olivia. Is that true? That, that's a that's really a very difficult que question. I guess Olivia was uh, fairly easy for me because I. You know, understood because I'd been a, a full-time mom myself. I think actually all of you were pretty easy to write. You were fun to write for because you had a great comic sense, and um, and but you could be sensitive and sweet. Grandpa, of course, was was a hoot. Although I think my husband and partner Rod probably nailed him better than I did. I loved writing for uh, for Jim Bob because he, there was there was a sensitivity about him that that was sort of easy to capture. All the boys were wonderful. Elizabeth was darling. Yeah, he was pretty much the grandpa man. Yeah, oh, so, so Rod wrote grandpa. Well, I can see that. Yeah, and his, Rod was kind of a grandpa himself. You know, I mean, he was, he was, he could be kind of a character. And, That's true. Uh, and gushy That's and true. Wonderful. And I... Do you have a favorite episode? I think the favorite, ep the one, the episode was the most rewarding was uh, the one the book burning episode and that was um, that was definitely a challenge to, to write we wrote it several times and uh, and it was it was also an exciting episode on the screen and a meaningful one but and but the book burning one I have to say when you ask people the most important episodes of the show they always say the book burning yeah that that really had some meaning it did and it was a very rewarding show to, to write. <laughs> <laughs> now you have these characters photobombing you. <laughs> Welcome to Minutes with Mary, guys. Oh. <laughs> what did, did he just... <laughs> now, we have to ask you this, because the, uh, my favorite episode to film was the burnout, because the house burned down. Oh. Right. Now, as producers, did you decide to burn the house down because you were sick of us? <laughs> How did that come yes, up in the story? Like, let's it, burn the Waltons' house down. Maybe they can all be in it. The um, uh, <laughs> network had different ideas. I mean, we were going to burn all of you down, but the network had different ideas. They said, no, we don't want to cancel this show next week. Um, <laughs> okay, what about Grandma Comes Home? Oh, Grandma, Grandma Comes Home. That was a lovely episode, too. That was a lovely episode, partly because... Um, Everybody was so glad to see Ellen and so amazed that Ellen was, was going to be able to continue in her role. And yeah. then I remember the day that, that the filming began and um, people down on the set and Ellen walked in under her own steam and I remember her coming across the soundstage and everybody broke into applause. And I'm about to break into tears because that was such a, a, a lovely, profound moment. Oh, yeah. She was a strong lady. She was, and you know, she really wanted to walk on her own and talk on her own. She didn't yeah. want help. Yeah, yeah, very independent. Oh, I guess lovely Look at Runty. Hear. Runty's here, yeah. and he wants Claire to. Okay. He wants to be part of Minutes You're with Mary, up. too. You're coming up. Yes. You're on camera. So we're actually, you know, in Santa Fe, and Claire hosted us on our drive to Colorado. Any um, behind-the-scenes antics or anything that you can talk about? Well, I remember the day you almost set the set on fire. <gasps> How, me personally? <laughs> yes. What did I do? I think you were you were burning something, and um, no, no, maybe yes, you were burning something on the set, sending up 
a message or something. <gasps> it was an antic, and I was in Ellen's. Uh, Ellen was in kind of a little side room, like a little dressing area off the set, and all of a sudden, smoke was going up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? I don't remember that. But it was part of the script, right? No. Uh, well, I don't no, we were so. just I doing things? Some, I think it was some, some little kind of goofing off, and you, you just let, lit something, and there was not a fire. But, but it's it was, a lot of smoke. Was, oh, I blocked that out of my mind. You know, was, let me tell you a story about early in, early in our career. We did an episode called The Ferris Wheel, and we were not yet on the show as, as staff. We were just freelance writers. And uh, we had written this episode that featured a big Ferris wheel, and Ben does a rescue of uh, Elizabeth from the Ferris wheel. And Rod and I were curious. We, we, we came to the studio and walked down on the set, and there they had set up a Ferris wheel. And we were both kind of overwhelmed because it was something that we'd just seen in our minds and seen on the page and, you know, written in a script. And here was this huge thing. That was, that was set up. I guess that was the first time that I realized how TV really worked. <laughs> yeah, because it was all of a sudden it became real. It became real. Wow, this huge Ferris wheel. I remember that. It was like outside Godsey's store or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the back lot. Were you on the show when the whole poltergeist thing and the Ouija board? Because people have such issues with those episodes. Uh, actually, the first episode that we did as, as produced when Rod was producing and I was story editor was the. Um, Poltergeist show, and that was based on uh, something that that Earl had heard from his brother-in-law, and um, so that was the, that was the opening episode of the season that we came on, and we got lots of flack for that, a lot. We still do it. That apparently it spooked a lot of people because it scared them. Somebody wrote on my Facebook fan page that it released that episode scared them and freaked them out so much they yeah, couldn't watch yeah, it. Right. So. What about the World War II stuff? How did, because we jumped forward, didn't we? To yes. get into World War II? Yes, and again, that happened before Rob and I were really aboard, but we're part of the, of the staff. Um, and I never approved of that myself, because I, I just, I loved staying on the mountain. I loved staying, doing family shows, private, wonderful retreat mm. for our audiences. So then we...